in a few weeks or so, Windows 11 will be adding the capability to run Android applications. But did you know that you always have the resources to run Android applications on Windows even before? Last time I taught you how to play COD Mobile on Windows. You can check out the link that will pop up in the screen, which is also listed in the video description below. This time, I will introduce you to a more complete Android experience inside your Windows PC. As in, literally having a tablet inside your Windows. Please note that I am using Windows 11 OS now, but everything that I'll be doing here will just basically be the same as to Windows 10. Let's get started. Most of you already know that I am talking about Android emulators. If you search for it, you will be presented with a lot of options. But the best one that I have used so far, that gives you the actual experience of having an Android tablet in your PC, is BlueStacks. BlueStacks is also absolutely free. Just search for it. Go to its website, and then download the latest installer which is BlueStacks 5. As usual, after downloading you can run the file to install. BlueStacks 5 is running on Android 9, and by default, it is emulating a OnePlus 5 phone, which you can change later. While installing, BlueStacks icons will automatically be created in your desktop. Just wait for it to finish. The installation took about two and a half minutes on my ZenBook 13 OLED laptop. Then BlueStacks will automatically open itself. As you can see here, it is starting now. Alright. We are in. Let's open the Play Store, so we can log into the Google account. Just like any Android phone or tablet, you need to go through the log and process of your Google account here. It even has the two-step verification method. OK. Our account is set. We can now browse to any Android applications that is compatible to a OnePlus 5 phone on Android 9 OS. Let's try installing Clash Royale here. It's installed. Let's open it. There you go. We still need to install Google Play game application though. Let's install it as well. There you go. It's installed. From the right side of the BlueStacks window, you have icons here for the multi-instant settings, the location, shaking the device, rotating, media manager, taking a screenshot, installing APK files, clearing the memory, sensing, macro manager, the game controls, locking the mouse, volume and full screen. At the bottom part you have the back button and home button, as well as the settings. The setting here though is not the device setting, but rather, the BlueStacks settings. You have options here for the performance, the display, graphics, audio, gamepad and other preferences. In the device settings, this is where you can select the device that you want BlueStacks to load. As mentioned earlier, the default is a OnePlus 5 phone. There's a lot of choices here, but I think BlueStacks 5 is more optimized for OnePlus 5, so my advice is just to keep it as is. You also have a network provider here which has no use since this has no SIM card. Then we have the shortcuts, the advanced settings and the about which can show you the version of BlueStacks you are running. Let's close the setting windows now. And we are back to Clash Royale fully running now. As you can see, this is absolutely playable. Let's close this for now and click the home button here from the right bottom side. To go to the device settings, you can open the settings icon here. The settings here is limited as compared to the settings from the actual phone. This is necessary since the device is just a virtual device, some settings of the phone, in this case, OnePlus 5 phone, when changed, might cause errors and issues with the virtual Android device. But all of the basic settings that you need are still here, like the storage, apps, location, inputs and language, accessibility options, time and date settings, account management and more. One great feature here is the seamless installation of APK file from your Windows device. Let me show you the current application list here. As you can see, we have no ES file manager yet installed. Going to the Windows file manager, I have an APK file here of the ES file manager. When I double-click that APK file, Windows will give me an option to open it on BlueStacks. When I click OK here, the APK file will be installed inside the BlueStacks. It's that easy and seamless. There you go. We now have ES File Manager installed here. With this, you can also easily test any APK files if they can be installed, and if it will run properly on Android before copying it over and installing in your actual phone or tablet. For this ES File Manager that I installed, it is running perfectly. Another great feature here is the easy process of transferring files between Windows and inside this Android virtual device. 
You can use the media manager here, or you can also open the settings. Under the blue stack settings, you can click the import windows files. This will let you browse the windows files. Select the file that you want to import going to the Android device. Let's select an mp3 file here. Just double click it, and there you go. The file will be copied over inside this virtual Android device. Really easy and simple process of sharing files between Windows and your virtual Android device. Just like an actual phone, the last button here on the right is the recent apps list which enables you to switch between apps or close the apps that you don't need to free up the memory. I mentioned COD Mobile at the start of the video, and if you are wondering if BlueStacks can run it too. The answer is absolutely yes. You can search for it from the Play Store and install. Once installed, you have the game control settings here on the right side. The keyboard icon. From here, you map your keyboard and mouse keys to the game. Like what I said from the start, you'll have the best Android experience using BlueStacks. You can install anything you want here. You can reuse and sync your Google account here. Do basically anything that you can do from your phone, but with the convenience of having a full keyboard and a mouse from your PC. I'm not sure how the Windows 11 enabling Android applications will compare to this one. That might be more optimized, faster and probably easier to use. But until that feature arrived to Windows 11, BlueStacks is your best bet for a great all-around Android experience within Windows. Okay. I hope this helps. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.